Hello and welcome, and here we are just off the M621 motorway at Elland Road in Leeds. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leeds United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Conte. Mount. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Just not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Well, he's given it away. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Cross fired over. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be and he saw the situation developing Kai Havertz Sterling has it that's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. He'll have a go here, and holding on to that free kick, no easy feat. Well, possession seeded. Effective looking pass. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Mateo Kovacic. Mount Conte is it going to be Raheem Sterling a really top notch piece of defending oh a goal the error seized upon and the goalkeeper left with egg on his face well just look at this again what was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. Well, a second goal for them here.
Mark Rocca. James. Wonderful tackle. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Giving it a try. Well, tremendous block. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure what possessed him to put in a challenge like that in the first place. Well, it's dangerous, it's reckless, it's out of control, it's a red card all day long. Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. And Sterling has it. Sterling! Nicely blocked! Well, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Christensen. Lovely ball over the top. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity and momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Mount. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's played pretty well, to be fair. He's looked confident and assured on the ball, but he's going to need a helping hand if they are to turn this around in the second half. So underway again, Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Mount. Sterling. Here's Mount. Oh, that's a fine pass. And he's in an offside position. Mateo Kovacic. What can Chelsea do from this position? Conte. Havertz! Mark Rocca. Ball with Junior Firpo here. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Junior Firpo. Possession lost. 
Conte. Now with Havertz. And teammates to play it to. Koulibaly. Mount. Happy to take on the shot. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. Elects to go short. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Mark Rocca. Well, as you can see, Leeds have had the majority of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Conte. Crossing opportunity. Sterling. Can they convert? And a goal it is. They lead by two now fully deserves well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through good vision to set up the chance and then through on goal he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper there's no stopping that what a great finish So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Harrison. Koch. High quality defending. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Sterling. And now with Kovacic, oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Substitution for Chelsea, coming off the pitch, number 29, Kyle Hadlett, coming onto the pitch, Played over. Well, thumped clear. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can he take advantage? Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Substitution time it is. And a chance maybe to settle this. In it goes! Coley converted! Well, here we can see it again. And you have to say it's taken with such conviction. Swatted right into that bottom corner. Easy as you like. Job done. Not too much 
defending going on in the grand scheme of things, 4-1. He's going forward well here. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Just wanted to get it out of there. Timo Werner. Here's Kovacic. So the referee blows for full time. And I'll tell you what, not a great day at the office for Leeds United. No points picked up. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, Raheem Sterling has so many admirers in the game, and it's easy to see why based on this performance, I think, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.